A lot to smile about. Crypto is looking good today. It looks like the market is really trying to price in some of that liquidity and capital that we may see coming into the economy as the potential new beautiful bill could get rolled out and approved, if not already approved. Now, um, I talked about this earlier. Go watch that video. But I want to talk about Tao's ecosystem and make sure I keep you guys updated. I want to give you guys a few Tao subnets, three or four Tao subnets that I'm paying attention to. We call it Tao summer over here in uh, the BitTensor ecosystem so guys make sure that you like subscribe hit that notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms first and foremost we have to talk about Tao now I need to be I need to do a, I need this is a video that I need to be probably doing a little bit later um it just thought about my, my crypto.com video so if you want to know what I'm about to be talking about about crypto.com like and subscribe to my channel because I talk about all type of cryptocurrency. But in this video, we're going to be talking about Tau, BitTensor, and a few subnets that I believe have huge potential, especially if you are a artificial intelligence consumer and, and connoisseur and savant like myself. Now, Tau is rising today. It is sitting at $338. And for the people that always say, well, Millie, I feel like I'm priced out of Tau. Guys, don't 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 think like that, right? Tau has the same or similar tokenomics to Bitcoin. And we're talking about a project. In my opinion, if AI is built, the entire AI economy is built and sits on top of Tau. Now we're talking about Tau being a hundred billion dollar project company not project, company or higher. And the reason I say company, because we're already starting to see um, stocks uh, add Tau to the treasury, similar to what we've seen from Bitcoin, Expect, except it's, a, it's happening at a um, way more in, infant stage than we, you know, Bitcoin was far more mature when institutions started to garner that interest, but we're seeing it early in Tau's uh, uh, career in history. Um, we got Oblong raised uh, significant funding through private stock offers to purchase Tau tokens and develop decentralized AI market, resulting in notable stock price increase. In fact, I showed you guys, if you went on my Twitter, you probably seen that the, the, the stock is increasing. Um, Tau X, right? Symptogenics now known as Town X uh, stock has also been increasing, right? And they've been adding Tau to the treasuries. And then Say Fellow this morning just said they bought some more Tau and added it to the treasuries. About two or three other companies that's private. And Grayscale even has Tau um, um, on their, uh, their portfolio list as well. So the institutional interest is there. But the potential resides in the ecosystem on Tau, which is detail i want to give you guys some some banger subnets that have massive potential right especially if you have the understanding that tau is a ai marketplace which means something groundbreaking that happens in ai most likely will be coming from tau and the fact that these stocks are adding tau to the treasures in my opinion confirms it i want to have 20 to 50 hundreds of tau when it hits 10,000, 20,000 per token. And people talk about all these other tokens like XRP hitting 10,000. A lot of shit has to happen. But Tau, in my opinion, is the closest that can hit 10,000, 20,000 because the tokenomics line up perfectly, right? This is only, it's a scarcity token. There's only so many tokens available, right? So very, very bullish on Tau's ecosystem here. Um, the first, and I'm going to be very quick, quick about these subnets, guys. It's very easy to buy these subnets. The only thing you have to do is, and you can use my link, crypto.com link, and load up your crypto.com wallet with Tau. If you're new, you can earn 25 to 50 bucks. But all you got to do is learn, uh, is load up your crypto.com, buy Tau, and then, you know, move your Tau to your BitTensor wallet. You can find the BitTensor wallet on the official BitTensor site. Download the wallet, download the Chrome Go buy some towel on your favorite exchange. My favorite exchange is crypto.com. And you just send that uh, native token to your wallet and bang. You can go right here to towelstats.io or even um, this website here um, called backdrop.finance. And you can trade towel subnet tokens. It's called DTAL. Now, the first project I want to talk about is Hippie is sitting here at a $5 million market cap. Guys, this project on detail is already working to generate revenue you can see here hippias delivers payments for our decentralized storage subnet uh 
with a towel via Stripe and Web Console Fund support subnet 75 alpha token buybacks. Huge thanks to our team and community. And um, what I like about this project is that people were in the comments asking them about like really, really hard questions about, you know, if they can compete with something like Filecoin, Dropbox, you know, how are people's data being stored? Is it is it private? Uh, can you ensure security and privacy? And man, these guys answered every question down to the key. So salute to the hippiest team. Um, I think that this is a project that can be huge when you think about how massive AI is going to be and how much storage that it consumes. You don't want these huge companies kind of like running the storage sector because most of them are centralized, especially AWS and Dropbox. I can't say the same for Filecoin, but again, you know, they, they aim to be a little bit more seamless. Uh, they plan on doing advertising and marketing. It's going to be some competition out there, but if most of the AI traffic will be within the BitTensor ecosystem, then something like Hippias can, uh, uh, you know, garner some of that interest, maybe one or two percent of that interest that BitTensor gets in the cloud storage narrative is going to be huge and massive itself. So. Um, when we see those tokens run, I expect this to be one of those tokens within the ecosystem that runs. They generate revenue, which that re revenue can be used for buybacks. Next token I want to actually talk about here is Subnet73 MetaHash. And I talked about this in my last video. It's the only project right now that is building a uh, platform, a marketplace uh, that's... Uh, allowing you to trade otc right over the counter trades right this takes away the selling pressure from the you know the owners in the tau subnets right you got a, your owner you all you know you mined all of this uh, alpha of your token and you want to sell it to be able to further build out your ecosystem but it you know people look at it like really really bad in crypto so this this project itself being uh, the first meta mining subnet uh, decentralized over the counter marketplace for Betensor miners. So, Tau Hash went crazy, right? Subnet 14. They only mine Bitcoin, right? This mines other subnets, right? And by uh, mining its subnet, it, it's able to hold <laughs> every subnet in D Tau, right? And if a subnet wants to swap with Meta Hash, right? They don't have to feel that selling pressure because they have mined their subnet right so this marketplace is going to be a savior for a lot of subnets that are trying to build out their ecosystems but do not want to add selling pressure to their project this is going to be huge it's going to really really help out the tau ecosystem very bullish on this guys go out there and do your research the next uh subnet i want to talk about is subnet 11 dippy 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 now dippy is doing some real things man um it's building a uh decentralized version of ai companions right so if you ever seen uh uh that a uh, companion company which is character.ai well it's valued in billions right and if we go here to dippy dippy is sitting here at a five million dollar market cap right they just secured some funding um, so DSV fund is pleased to confirm a 100,000 OTC allocation into Dippy. So you're probably wondering like, man, somebody just bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of Dippy, but it didn't, uh, move the price OTC, see OTC, OTC, right? Over the counter allocation, right? So I just talked about a subnet that's building a marketplace for the ecosystem and just give you an example of a OTC deal worth a hundred thousand dollars, right? So Dippy AI spearheading what may be the most consequential consumer shift of the next decade. AI companions involved into everyday products as essentials as search engines. So the problem with ChatGPT, Anthropic, uh, Google, Gemini, whatever AI tech or platform you use is that, you know, they give you answers, but it's like no emotion behind it. It's like you're just talking to fucking AI, right? It's AI. Well, these companions allow you to feel like you're talking to a friend, right? This is going to help with mental uh, illness, mental health, uh, loneliness, right? This is going to cover all of that, right? And right now, institutions seem to have an interest with this subnet, right? In comparison to something as big as character.ai, right? So with that being said, me knowing this information and knowing like there's pro, you know, companies that's putting up a hundred K on a subnet when they can just go use Google tells me something, right? It really, really tells me something. So since emerging in stealth, this is some, and again, 
all of these projects and subnets I'm talking about earn revenue. Dippy's momentum has been undeniable. 7 million users in 12 months. They already got 7 million users, guys. Over 700 million messages sent, right? So people are using the platform. Um, revenue tripled in the first half of 2025, 100% of June at revenue, 50,000 used to buy back and burn subnet tokens. So this is big. Dippy is a mobile first censorship fleet platform where users create companions with unique personalities, backstories, and persistent memories. Guys, go do your research. I think that this is going to be a massive subnet. It's already starting to get adopted outside of the BitTensor ecosystem. I said enough about that. The last but the last but not least project I want to talk about, guys, is BitCast, Subnet 93. Now, this project is disrupting a $480 billion industry by 2027, right? This is the global creator economy uh, market. They're already working on a no-code miner, right? Um, uh, where, you know... Um, as a YouTube connector, uh, YouTube creator, excuse me, you can connect your YouTube account, go over briefs that's already pre-made for you, and instantly earn Tau. Now, right now, you have to have a miner to do this, but soon you have a no-code miner where any YouTuber, if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, if you want to earn Tau, if you think Tau is going to be the next Bitcoin, you want a chance to earn easy Tau, BitCast is the best place to be because you just look at a brief of legit products and you talk about them. And the AI detects the analytics of your YouTube channel and you earn Tau. On the flip side of that, if you have a project, if you have a product, right, and you don't want to deal with shady KOLs or talk to them personally, right, you can just go pay BitCast in Tau or the subnet or whatever they take, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? You can utilize their platform uh, to get your project out there because they'll turn whatever you want your platform or project to be known or, or talked about into a brief where a whole bunch of KOLs can access this and get incentivized for talking about it, right? So you got a product, you want people to know about your product, but you don't want to deal with the KOL or or you don't want to pay somebody that may be doing shady business on YouTube, like buying fake likes or fake comments or fake engagement. You can't cheat that. You can't cheat the, the, the AI over here on BitCast because their AI has to you have to your your video has to pass an AI check means you have to do things by the book right so this is good for companies that want uh, transparency and is also good for uh, influencers that want to work with good projects but earn a passive income outside of just what they would have made from YouTube so check out Bitcast man I think Bitcast is going to be huge just sitting here at a, it's it's the least the least. It's the least but most potential because the creator economy is going to be massive, right? Everybody's creating content. Look at all the stuff in my room. It's content, right? This is a billion-dollar industry, right, on a project that's sitting at a $700,000 market cap. Very, very healthy project. The owners are docs. I talk to the owners, man. They're very transparent. These guys work hard. They wake up every day and they want to execute. And that's why I like Tao because there's real builders, man, that's, that's really working on delivering and shipping. Anyway, those are the subnets I want to talk about and keep you posted on, guys. It's easy to buy the subnets. Let me know what your favorite Tao subnet is. Let me know in the comment. Engage with the video, man. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.